Earthquakes in Tunisia have historically been among the deadliest in the Mediterranean, reshaping both landscapes and communities. But there's so much more to this nation's story than its seismic activity. In this video, we're going to dive into 100 bizarre facts about Tunisia. 1. Did you know that Tunisia was the filming location for the original Star Wars movie? That's right, the iconic planet Tatooine was named after the Tunisian town of Tatooine. 2. In Tunisia, the traditional doorways are a work of art, each color and design signifying different meanings, like social status and family history. 3. Tunisia's ancient city of Carthage, founded by the Phoenicians, was once a powerful rival to Rome and remains a treasure trove of history. 4. Tunisian olive oil is a hidden culinary treasure, often exported to Italy and rebranded, making Tunisia one of the top olive oil-producing countries. 5. The Sahara Desert covers over 40% of Tunisia, offering surreal landscapes and even luxury desert camps for adventurous travelers. 6. Tunisian cuisine is a delightful surprise, blending Arabic, Mediterranean, and French influences, with dishes like brick, a savory pastry, being a must-try. 7. Tunisia's island of Djerba, home to one of the oldest Jewish communities, hosts the El Griba Synagogue, an ancient and revered site. 8. The tradition of haggling in Tunisian souks isn't just a transaction, it's an art form, requiring skill and patience, and often accompanied by mint tea. 9. The national sport of Tunisia isn't soccer, it's handball, where the national team regularly achieves glory in African and international tournaments. 10. The Tunisian town of Matmata is famous for its unique underground troglodyte houses, which provide natural insulation against the desert heat. 11. In Tunisia, you can find Roman ruins like nowhere else in the world, including the majestic amphitheater of El Gem, rivaling Rome's Colosseum. 12. The Tunisian lake of Bizerte is said to be connected to the legend of the lost city of Atlantis, stirring the imagination of historians and tourists alike. 13. Tunisia's caper farming is a lesser-known industry, with the country being one of the largest exporters of this piquant culinary gem. 14. Did you know that the cork oak forests in the northwest of Tunisia are home to the endangered Barbary deer? a species unique to North Africa? 15. Tunisian harissa, a fiery chili paste, is a staple in local cuisine and has been gaining international fame as a versatile condiment. 16. The Medina of Tunis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a labyrinth of history with narrow streets, ancient mosques, and bustling marketplaces. 17. Tunisia has a flourishing wine industry, little known outside its borders, producing quality wines in regions like Cap Bon and Grombalia. 18. The traditional Tunisian chechia, a red felt cap, is more than just headwear. It's a craft passed down through generations, symbolizing cultural identity. 19. Believe it or not, Tunisia has a small but vibrant skiing scene at Mount Chambi during the brief winter snow. 20. The annual International Festival of the Sahara in Duz celebrates Bedouin culture with camel racing, traditional music, and dance. 21. Tunisia's Blue and White Village, Sidi Bou Said, is a feast for the eyes with its striking Mediterranean colors and artistic vibe. 22. The country's ancient Berber traditions live on, particularly in remote villages, where age-old customs and languages are preserved. 23. Tunisian dates, especially the Diglet Noor variety, are known as the Queen of Dates and are a prized export for their unique taste and texture. 24. The famous Roman general Hannibal, who crossed the Alps with his elephants, was a son of Tunisia, specifically the city of Carthage. 25. Kairouan, Islam's fourth holiest city, is in Tunisia and houses the Great Mosque. 
26. Tunisia's Ulysses Mosaic, housed in the Bardo Museum, depicts a scene from Homer's Odyssey and is a stunning example of Roman mosaic art. 27. The Tamirza and Chebica oases near the Algerian border offer breathtaking landscapes and are a paradise for hikers and nature lovers. 28. Tunisia's National Costume Museum in the city of Mahdia showcases traditional attire, rich in detail and history, reflecting the diverse cultural influences. 29. The country's fascinating underwater archaeology, particularly off the coast of Mahdia, reveals shipwrecks and ancient relics that paint a vivid picture of maritime trade in the Mediterranean over centuries. 30. Tunisia's traditional pottery, especially from Sejnan, is recognized by UNESCO for its cultural significance, showcasing unique designs and techniques passed down by Berber women. 31. The Festival of the Ksur Saharien, held in the southwest, celebrates the region's architectural heritage with music, dance, and camel parades. 32. In Tunisia, you can witness the stunning phenomenon of Lake Ichkul changing colors, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an important stop for migratory birds. 33. The Duga Archaeological Site, another UNESCO gem, offers a glimpse into ancient Roman and Punic civilizations with well-preserved temples and theaters. 34. Tunisian traditional music like Malouf has roots in Andalusian and Ottoman sounds, creating a melodic blend that's both haunting and beautiful. 35. The ancient festival of Sabiba in the oasis town of Janet celebrates a historic peace pact between tribes with elaborate costumes and rituals. 36. Tunisian craftsmen excel in zeliga tilework, creating intricate and colorful patterns that adorn mosques, palaces, and homes. 37. The cave dwellings in Matmata not only served as Star Wars sets, but are still home to locals, preserving an ancient way of life. 38. Tunisian street art, particularly in post-revolutionary times, has turned city walls into canvases for political expression and artistic creativity. 39. The ancient Phoenician city of Kirkuane, unlike other Roman sites, offers a rare glimpse into Punic urban planning and daily life. 40. The Spatla archaeological site, with its well-preserved Roman temples and arches, stands as a testament to Tunisia's multi-layered history. 41. In Tunisia's south, the Chat El Jared Salt Lake offers an otherworldly landscape, often mirroring the sky in its vast salt pans. 42. Tunisian storytellers, or Hakawadis, are keepers of oral traditions, spinning tales that have been passed down through generations. 43. The Lazard Rouge, a historic train, offers scenic journeys through the Selja Gorges, showcasing Tunisia's stunning natural beauty. 44. Tunisia's rich marine life, including the endangered Mediterranean monk seal, can be explored through diving excursions along its coast. 45. The traditional Tunisian wedding is a multi-day celebration filled with customs, music, and colorful attire reflecting the country's rich cultural tapestry. 46. Gabes, a coastal oasis, is unique for its sea-facing palm groves, creating a rare ecosystem where the desert meets the sea. 47. The island of Chergui, part of the Kirkenna archipelago, is known for its tranquil beaches and traditional octopus fishing techniques. 48. In Tunisian folklore, the legend of Aicha Kandicha, a shape-shifting spirit, has been told for centuries, embodying various cultural influences. 49. The Festival of the Migrant Bird in Jerba celebrates the island's role as a crossroads for migratory birds, blending conservation with cultural events. 50. 
Tunisia's traditional bread, tabuna, is baked in an outdoor clay oven, offering a distinct taste that's become a staple of local cuisine. 51. The Nefta Basket Festival is an annual celebration of palm craftsmanship, showcasing intricate basketry and palm-based products. 52. Tunisia's unique geography allows for the cultivation of a rare variety of jasmine, used in perfumery and as a traditional offering of hospitality. 53. The ancient practice of falconry is still preserved in some Tunisian regions, reflecting the country's deep connection with the natural world. 54. In Tunisian culture, the concept of baraka, or divine blessing, is woven into everyday life, influencing social customs and spiritual practices. 55. The Cap Bon Peninsula, known for its fertile soil, produces a bountiful harvest of citrus fruits, making Tunisia a major exporter. 56. The Tunis Carthage International Airport is named after the ancient city of Carthage, symbolizing the country's rich historical legacy. 57. Tunisian handicrafts, especially silver jewelry, are not just ornaments but also carry symbolic meanings and are often part of family heirlooms. 58. The Medina of Sfax, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a fortress city with a unique architectural style and a living testament to the Islamic Golden Age. 59. The El Faysha National Park in the northwest is a haven for biodiversity, including endangered species like the Atlas Cedar and Barbary Stag. 60. Tunisian coastal towns, like Bizerte, blend Mediterranean charm with historical fortresses, offering a glimpse into the country's colonial past. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can continue to create more fascinating content. 61. The ancient art of henna, used for both beauty and traditional ceremonies, is a significant aspect of Tunisian cultural heritage. 62. The traditional Tunisian dish la blabi is a simple yet flavorful chickpea soup, often enjoyed as a street food, especially in the chilly winters. 63. The Dar Ben Abdallah Museum in Tunis offers a glimpse into 19th century Tunisian life, showcasing period furniture, clothing, and artifacts. 64. Tunisia's unique geology includes the Atlas Mountains, which extend into the country, offering hiking and exploration opportunities. 65. The annual date festival in Tozur celebrates the harvest of dates, a cornerstone of the Tunisian economy with music, dancing, and culinary delights. 66. Tunisian Arabic, with its unique dialect and vocabulary, reflects the country's diverse cultural influences from Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. 67. The tradition of Tunisian storytelling is kept alive at the Dar Sebastian Cultural Center in Hammamet, where tales are spun under the stars. 68. The Tunisian island of Galait, uninhabited and protected, is a biodiversity hotspot, especially for its marine life and bird species. 69. The Festival of the Sahara in Duz isn't just about camel racing. It's a cultural extravaganza, showcasing Bedouin traditions, music, and desert sports. 70. The Tunisian national costume, particularly the women's sebzi, is an elegant and colorful expression of the country's textile heritage. 71. In Tunisia, the tradition of communal bread ovens, where neighbors bake their bread together, fosters a sense of community and sharing. 72. The ancient Amazigh, Berber symbols, still seen in rural arts and crafts, tell stories of a culture that predates Arab influence in North Africa. 73. Tunisian ceramics, particularly from Nabul, are renowned for their vivid colors and intricate patterns, blending Arab and Mediterranean styles. 
74. The Duga Festival, set against ancient Roman ruins, blends classical music with a historical setting, creating a magical experience. 75. In Tunisian homes, the art of making makrud, a date-filled pastry, is a family tradition passed down through generations. 76. The Cap Angela in Bizerte is not just the northernmost point of Africa. It's a breathtaking spot where the Mediterranean meets the African continent. 77. The Tunisian traditional fishing method using charfia, a labyrinth of palm leaves, is a sustainable technique passed down through generations. 78. The annual Carthage Film Festival is not just a cinematic event. It's a celebration of African and Middle Eastern filmmaking talent. 79. Tunisia's National Bardo Museum houses one of the world's largest collections of Roman mosaics, showcasing the skill of ancient artists. 80. In the south of Tunisia, the troglodyte village of Cenini offers a glimpse into a unique architectural style carved into the mountainside. 81. The Tunisian tradition of les soirées ramadanesques during Ramadan transforms the nights with music, storytelling, and, and spiritual gatherings. 82. The tradition of making Tunisian rugag, a type of flatbread, is an art form, often seen in street food stalls and local markets. 83. The ancient city of Uthina, with its Roman amphitheater and temples, stands as a hidden gem, off the beaten path for most tourists. 84. Tunisia's coastal town of Medea, once a Fatimid capital, is now known for its serene beaches and historic fortifications. 85. The traditional Tunisian mint tea, served in ornate glasses, is a symbol of hospitality and a staple in every Tunisian household. 86. The oasis town of Ksar Gilan, on the edge of the Sahara, offers a blend of adventure tourism with hot springs and Roman ruins. 87. Tunisian mlukia, a green stew made from Jews' mallow, has a unique flavor and is a testament to the country's rich culinary diversity. 88. The Tunisian Revolution of 2011, part of the Arab Spring, started in Sidi Bouzid, sparking significant political and social change. 889. The annual Festival of the Sea in Bizert celebrates maritime traditions with boat races, seafood, and concerts showcasing coastal culture. 90. Tunisia's tradition of roof terrace living, especially in the old medinas, offers a private outdoor space, often beautifully decorated with plants and tiles. 91. The island of Zembra, a natural reserve, is a haven for endangered species, and a popular spot for diving and exploring unspoiled nature. 92. The Tunisian National Library in Tunis, with its vast collection of manuscripts and books, is a treasure trove for historians and literature enthusiasts. 93. The Andalusian influence in Tunisian music is most evident in orchestras like the Rikidia, blending Arab and Western classical styles. 94. The ancient tradition of falconry in Tunisia, especially in the desert regions, reflects a profound connection between the Tunisian people and their natural environment, where falcons are not just hunting companions, but also cultural symbols. 95. Tunisian fricasse, a small fried sandwich filled with tuna, boiled egg and harissa, is a popular street food that reflects the simplicity and richness of local flavors. 96. The traditional annual festival Le Mouled, celebrating the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, is marked by special sweets like Asidad's Gugu and vibrant street decorations. 97. Tunisia's deep-sea fishing industry contributes not just to the economy, but also maintains age-old fishing traditions blending modern techniques with historical practices. 98. The ancient practice of water management in Tunisia, especially the use of underground cisterns and aqueducts, 
showcases an advanced understanding of sustainable living in arid conditions. 99. Tunisian street markets, or souks, are not just places for commerce. They are bustling centers of social interaction, where bargaining is an art and the variety of goods tells a story of cultural fusion. 100. The Tunisian island of Tabarka is famous for its annual jazz festival, attracting international artists and jazz enthusiasts, set against the backdrop of its historic fortress and stunning coral reefs. And that concludes our journey through the hidden wonders of Tunisia. Each fact unveils a layer of this fascinating country, offering a glimpse into its rich history, vibrant culture, and beautiful landscapes. We hope this video has broadened your horizons and given you new insights into the amazing country of Tunisia. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more captivating journeys around the world. Until next time, as they say in Tunisia, Bisalama.